deep, below the freezing cold waters of Antarctica, lurks a terrifying prehistoric looking predator waiting for its next taste of blood. It glides through the ocean with a long and powerful body measuring more than three meters. It sports a sleek black and gray spotted coat. It flaunts a large, almost reptilian head. This may be the last thing a penguin will ever see or the creature they never saw coming. You can try to run or swim away, but you can't hide. This is the leopard seal. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault, and you're watching Animal Logic. The leopard seal, also known as Hydrurga leptonix, lives a solitary life in some of the most remote and frigid locations in the world. Leopard seals are known for their love of penguins, but it's hard for them to share their love. No matter what your interests are, today's episode's sponsor, Squarespace, can help you create a website to show off your work and let the world know about it. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. Knowing your audience is super important. And with Squarespace's in-depth website analytics tool, you can gain valuable information about who's visiting your website and how they interact with your content. Squarespace also connects your social profiles to your website. You can automatically push your website content to social media channels so all your hard work is on display. And if you need support from your audience, Squarespace even has an option to collect donations. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash animalogic to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Start your passion project today. Thanks, Squarespace. The majority of the leopard seal's population lives south of the Antarctic Convergence in the subantarctic islands and Antarctica, between 50 and 80 degrees south. They spend their days lounging on the pack ice and hunting in the frigid waters. They are the third largest type of seal in the world. Only elephant seals and walruses are larger. But leopard seals are much, much scarier. Adult male leopard seals can weigh up to 450 kilograms, and adult females are even larger, close to 600 kilograms. That's almost as heavy as a male Kodiak bear. They make their namesake look tiny. Leopard seals eat a wide variety of foods, using their wide, gaping mouths and massive jaws to get the job done. In the winter, their most important food is krill because it is widely available to them. They even have special grooved back molars that lock together and allow them to filter krill out of the water. They also eat fish and cephalopods, like squid. But like their feline namesakes, leopard seals are fierce predators. They have a reputation as one of the deadliest predators in the ocean. Plus, they are the only type of seals to feed on warm-blooded prey. This prey includes penguins and even other seals. In order to catch their prey, leopard seals employ several different hunting tactics. One of these is the wait and rush tactic. Catching their prey off guard, the leopard seal pounces. They may also come up beneath an animal resting on the water's surface and snatch them in their jaws. As for other tactics, they're stalking where the leopard seal hides beneath the water with only its nostrils exposed. It waits at the edge of a pool and then pounces when the time is right. And finally, there's open hunting where the leopard seal makes no attempt to conceal itself. Once their prey is caught, eating it presents its own challenges. One, they can't hold their prey with their fins. And two, they don't have shearing teeth like lions to cut their prey into bite-sized pieces. Instead, leopard seals must thrash and shake their prey to break it down. They will rapidly sling their catch in an arc over their heads, smashing it on the water's surface until it breaks open. 
A brutal tactic, but a clever solution for the hungry seal. Leopard seals have been known to play with their food. But what's play for the leopard seal is life or death for their prey. When a leopard seal has eaten but still wants to play, they may seek out a penguin or seal pup heading to shore and chase them before they can get there. They may do this over and over again until their prey successfully makes it to shore or succumbs to exhaustion. These muscular predators are built for speed and have excellent sight and smell. Their streamlined shape and flippers can help propel leopard seals through the water at speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour. Their longest recorded dive is about 15 minutes. But due to their feeding habits, they typically do not need to dive deeply. Regardless of their massive jaws, leopard seals take small bites to consume their prey, savoring every bite. The ends of a leopard seal's mouth are permanently curled upwards. So are they smiling? Or is that a menacing grin? It's like I can hear the leopard seal asking, why so serious? At this point, it likely wouldn't surprise you to know that leopard seals do not play well with other leopard seals. Generally, they hunt alone and are never seen with more than one or two other seals. When hunting in the same area, leopard seals are widely spaced. On the occasions leopard seals haul out onto land, they are extremely territorial. If another leopard seal crosses their boundaries, they let out a warning growl before defending their space with violence. Because leopard seals lead such solitary lives in inhospitable places, it's difficult to determine population size with any degree of accuracy. But the current estimate stands at between 220,000 to 440,000. Leopard seals of both sexes are very vocal during the mating season. During singing cycles, the lone males will alternate between periods of vocalizing and silence. Vocalizing occurs while seals are underwater and consists of local calls and long-distance broadcast calls. They are known to have 12 unique vocalizations, all within the 65 to 4800 hertz range. There are also some regional variations or accents in their calls. Leopard seals mate between November and March, with a gestation period between eight and nine months. They often give birth on ice flows. No wonder they're cold to the core. Pups are born measuring about 1.5 meters in length and weighing about 35 kilograms. Young leopard seals mainly feed on krill. It's not until they grow into adult leopard seals that they develop a taste for blood and prey on penguins and seals. Leopard seals can live up to 26 years in the wild. That is, if they can avoid their only recognized predator, the orca. Leopard seals are inquisitive and fearless. And will frequently approach small boats to check humans out. <laughs> but how should we humans feel about meeting a leopard seal? In 2006, a photographer named Paul Nicklin dove into Antarctic waters to try and capture leopard seals in their natural habitat. For several days, a female leopard seal brought Nicklin penguins in what Nicklin thought was an attempt to feed him or teach him to feed himself. But it might have been a Hansel and Gretel situation. But the same nurturing nature hasn't always been present in other human leopard seal interactions. On his infamous Antarctic expedition in the early 1900s aboard the Endurance, Ernest Shackleton's party was attacked by a leopard seal. Fortunately, no one was hurt, and after dealing with the predator, they found it had a belly full of undigested fish. In 1985, Scottish explorer Gareth Wood was bitten twice on the leg when a leopard seal tried to drag him into the water. And in 2003, a marine biologist working with the British Antarctic Survey drowned after being dragged nearly 60 meters underwater by a leopard seal. 
These events are a sobering reminder that leopard seals and all wild creatures should be treated with the utmost caution and respect. Like other Antarctic species, leopard seals are affected by climate change. The distribution of leopard seals is significantly impacted by the annual expansion and contraction of pack ice surrounding the Antarctic continent. As ice flows melt, leopard seals are left with less space to birth their pups and rest. Despite this environmental threat, leopard seals are a resilient species. At least they face anything the world has to throw at them with a grin on their face. I'm calling it. Definitely a menacing grin. So what should we talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes every week. See you later.